KFC is supposed to be finger licking good. And now, along with the juices, they've sucked out all the joy. I was thinking, um, because that's what I do, is not deliberately thinking, I'm just going to think about the KFC now, but I was thinking about what it was that, that changed it so much. And I talked a little bit in my pie making video about how it, it, it seems different. Um, <clears throat> but what I didn't mention was, and it might just be specific to France or my area of France, but the food was served in um, a plastic, rec uh, recyclable, reusable um, bucket. So the bucket was sort of half the depth that the old cardboard bucket was had no lid on it and had a few chicken tenders in it and the chips were served in a red plastic envelope rather than a um, paper paper envelope and it's sort of just sterile that whole that whole thing around eating KFC has disappeared and I think that that what food manufacturers don't take into account or they're, they're led along by the whole um, low-fat stuff. They, they try harder and harder to change it and make it... I mean, the, 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 the reusable plastic, I understand why they would do that. That's important. But it, it, it means that you've lost a lot of what made KFC KFC, a greasy bucket, a greasy box, um, a greasy paper of... Um, of, of fries and it was the same it's the same with um the old uk fish and chips old uk fish and chips used to be served on uh, a slice of um grease proof paper and then wrapped up in newspaper <clears throat> and over the years what they've done is that, that it still looks like it's wrapped in newspaper but it it doesn't have all the smell that goes with that and smell is such an important part of of eating and, and so it's lost that and it's the same with this it was very sterile so there were no juices it was served in plastic there was no greasy box the, the handling of it and the the eating of it meant it was clean you didn't have fingers to lick and and that isn't kfc <clears throat> i remember when i first had kfc it was around um mid 80s I think I don't know how long it had been in the town I lived in but I used to I was the man from the Prue and I worked um, I'd be out in the mornings and I'd be out in the evenings and sometimes I'd stop and have a KFC I shouldn't have done but I did and I'd have three pieces and chips and sit, sit and eat it in the car and it would be really messy but it was yummy and what I had on whatever day it was Tuesday was nice but it wasn't yummy it wasn't all of the things that I remember from KFC and if I remember in a few months time because we don't really eat it you know we don't do that much in a few months time if I remember I won't bother because it has lost all of the charm um, and is just a sterile pit stop for food I've got a friend that <clears throat> has always said to me she doesn't say it now but she used to say to me when we were younger the difference between us and she's slim and she's fit and and all of that the difference between us is is that you live to eat and i eat to live and and i agree with her i mean it was hurtful to hear it um, because i can't change my way of being that is the way i am um but i and i was talking to vicky this morning with the cleaner and we we're talking about how you know, we find pleasure in food and we enjoy food and um, we enjoy good food. And, um, and my friend would just eat what, what was around, what she'd have was because you need fuel. So she saw food as fuel and I see it much more as a pleasure, um, which is why I enjoy cooking because I enjoy making pleasurable food. <clears throat> so yeah, so thanks KFC, you've lost a customer and I wonder whether it still says finger licking good on your advertising. I bet it doesn't because it isn't finger licking good anymore. It's just sterile, it's just conveyor belt food and I know that it's 
I know that it's fast food and, and always has been, but I was never more aware on as I was on um, Tuesday of the conveyor belt. Um, yeah, so I had a bit of a surprise visit this morning. Well, it was would have been even more of a surprise had this person not spoken to me uh, or I not had a conversation with this person last night. She posted a couple of photos on her Facebook profile of a town, a bridge across a river, an old French bridge. I knew she was around in France. Um, and she posted a photo of this bridge and I thought, I'm sure that's Conflans. But I had to go and look. I had to go and do a bit of Googling images and having a look at this particular view of the, over the bridge and of the, the houses at the bottom across the other side, you know, and the shutter patterns and the shutters and the windows. Is that that building? Is that that house? Is that that church? And I realised it was, so I just wrote Confalon on her page. <clears throat> and then she said, yes, are you in tomorrow morning? And I went, yes, are you coming for coffee? So she's just been for coffee. And um, it's, it's not somebody I've ever met before. We have been virtual friends probably since about 2000 and 2003 when I first bought chickens. So I first came across her on a chicken forum and then we um, subsequently were on other forums together and then of course Facebook since since we've both been on Facebook um, and um, but I'd never met her so it was a real lovely surprise and um, her plan had been to just turn up <laughs> I'm thinking oh my god that would have done my head in that would have done my head in because I knew she was coming, so when I got up this morning, I prepared a meal that I could have cooked and in the oven ready for us for when she left. Had I not known she was, because she said she was just going to turn up at the door and say, guess who? And I don't think I would have guessed. It would have taken me a bit to guess. Um, so she was going to turn up at the door, but had she done that, um, I would by about 11 o'clock, I'd be getting quite stressed by her still being here and um, me not knowing what I was going to do for dinner and, and what time dinner would be ready. So I'm really pleased that it was an arrangement rather than a spontaneous visit. We don't do spontaneous visits. Um, we've always found them difficult. Um, so I'm pleased that didn't happen. But it was lovely to see her. Um, and I've given her some eggs. She is a has been a chicken keeper and she some time back had 40 chickens and was doing an egg round and selling all her eggs. And then, <clears throat> I think it was last June, all of her chickens gradually got killed by a fox. So um, she has eggs um, in her freezer that she's either frozen or she's got eggs that she dehydrated. She said, don't, don't try it, they're not nice. But she won't get more chickens until one, she's worked, so she's going to trap the fox. Um, and two, um, until she's eaten all the food. So she's got eggs and that and so, so until that's gone I think she's not going to start taking keeping chickens again so I gave her some eggs to take with her because she's in an Airbnb tonight so she can probably cook herself some eggs but they'll last till she's back back in the UK on Saturday um, <clears throat> I picked up an egg just now that's twice the size of all the other eggs I think it's going to be a double yolk um, it's, it's a good size chicken eggs and our chickens are laying quite small eggs so I looked online about the um, cuckoo marron and it's sus I'm suspecting from what I've read that she may have a vitamin B de deficiency. It may be too late to treat her because she's had it for, well, since we've had her. Um, but I'm going to feed her for the next week on eggy bread. I'm going to feed her on marmite, marmite spread on the bread to get, get the vitamin B and then put in egg to make it easy for her to take but I'm going to make sure only she gets it so that's my plan I'm not going to do that today I'm not dressed for chicken bothering today we've got a doctor's appointment at five so and because we'd got um Francis coming this morning I uh, put my glad rags on because she said I said to her do I need to dress up and she said yes your best silk dress and your second best tiara so I put this on which isn't a tiara well, I don't think it is um I might have been putting it on wrong. So I put this on anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, it's, um, it was overcast this morning, but it's quite bright now, although there's some lovely big white clouds around, so I think I'm probably going to do a cloud vlog now. So yeah, that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching.